Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about a rumor that is circulating because we have to call it that as there is no official report to this point. Let's get into it. We know that Kendrick Lamar and Lil Wayne, they have been in the media recently because Kendrick Lamar has been announced as the headliner for the upcoming Super Bowl halftime show. And this has sparked some controversy as many fans and artists such as Lil little ooh, such as Nicki Minaj and Birdman along with a slew of other artists they have come out to Little Wayne's defense not just because the Super Bowl is being hosted in his hometown but they believe that Little Wayne was carrying the industry at a pivotal point when no one else was and Little Wayne has made his mark and deserves to be respected because we know that Louisiana carries a very strong culture when it comes to music and Little Wayne has significantly impacted the culture in his hometown. So they believe that Kendrick Lamar being the sole headliner for the Super Bowl is a disrespect and a snub to Little Wayne by Jay-Z. Make no mistakes, I haven't seen anyone who's saying that Kendrick isn't deserving of, of this. I believe that people really don't try to situate their feelings in this discussion because oftentimes I see people saying, oh, but Kendrick is deserving because he's doing so well. That's not what the people are saying. The people are saying, just as how they had Beyonce and Bruno Mars headlining the Super Bowl, it can happen just the same with Kendrick and Lil Wayne. Now, let's get into what is being theorized because if you're not aware, Kendrick Lamar and Little Wayne, they have a collaboration that they did back in 2018. Kendrick Lamar is someone who has always paid homage to Little Wayne because of, again, the amazing work that he has done and his contribution to music. So Little Wayne is someone that is truly admired by Kendrick Lamar. So what the streets are theorizing is that Little Wayne is gonna be on stage with Kendrick Lamar by way of Kendrick Lamar, not by way of Jay-Z. And also Kendrick Lamar and Lil Wayne, they have a collaboration coming out, I believe this weekend, if I'm not lying, if not very soon. So they have a collaboration coming out very soon. I forgot the title of the song, but you're gonna hear it if you're someone who is in tune to the music world, especially if you're a Lil Wayne and a Kendrick Lamar fan, and you're gonna wanna hear what they have done together you're going to get to hear that very soon. So, as such, what many people are theorizing is that Lil Wayne is going to be up there right on stage for a portion of the halftime show. I'm learning it's going to be for five minutes, but I still think that, you know, it should have been an official announcement. He should have been given the opportunity and the respect to be a part of the show. It shouldn't be the case where Kendrick had to use his initiative, you know, to say, you know what, I can incorporate this man into the halftime performance because this is his hometown. No, not just that. Many people are theorizing that it is Little Wayne's own people from his hometown who voted him out. And it sounds as though what they're making it sound like, they're making it sound as though social media had the option to vote in this. And they did not because if you merely just look at the backlash that they're getting around this decision, you know that his hometown did not play any role in making the decisions. If they want to say that people from the industry who are from his hometown influenced this decision, they voted on this decision, Jay-Z isn't the only one, that is something that I can understand. But to, you know, say that the people are the one who didn't want him to perform there, I think that is just nothing but a fallacy more than everything else that is being said. Now, another thing that is being theorized is that um, Jay-Z and Lil Wayne, they had a meetup a few days prior to the Super Bowl headliner announcement. So they're saying that, you know, Lil Wayne was well aware that Jay-Z did not chose him. And it's not making any sense to me again, because even though we know that we could see Lil Wayne in Jay-Z's company, Jay-Z is very calculated and he's not the type of person that talks about everything, that shares everything. So even if they were in each other's company, for any point in time, it doesn't mean that Little Wayne was given the heads up. As a matter of fact, that is how Jay-Z rolls. He's full of surprises. And then again, 
it, the decision was not solely up to him, but he had a significant role to play in the decision making. So I really don't believe that Little Wayne was given the end up prior because if he was, he would have absolutely no reason to be acting out. Well, let me back up there and not say act out. He would have absolutely no reason, him and his team, to be shocked and, you know, just expressing themselves on social media. Let's put it that way, right? So... While I can believe that, you know, Kendrick Lamar may bring him on stage for that five minutes, the rest of the, what the street is saying, it's really not adding up, really not making any sense to me. But that's just my opinion. It is your time to chime in. What are your thoughts? While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. Stay safe and see you guys later. Bye, guys.